All right, I'm Nick. We're about to make a quick video. I'm out in the garage. I've been working. I'm sweaty, hot, all that good stuff, and I'm ready to go inside for the evening. However, I wanted to make this video about scouting for Red Snapper. Went out yesterday, which was June 1st. I had to go check on some snapper, right? Snapper season opens up on the Gulf Coast of Florida on June 11th for state waters. Obviously, we run a bunch of you know offshore and snapper trips and stuff like that. So I like to put my time in, go scout, check out some areas, and make sure they're there for opening day, right? So we have a game plan. Now, uh, we have some changes on the beach, so we won't be able to fish where we normally fish. So I had to revert to some stuff that I used to fish years ago, but I haven't touched it in like three plus years, right? There's are spots that I haven't been to in like three years and some change. And let's just say... The fish are there, they're ready to be caught, and well, we're gonna catch them June 11th, as long as we have good weather. Hopefully the storm coming in fizzles out. Uh, give you a little background information that I'll show you guys in the video of me catching a fish. Uh, I only caught one, I only caught one on purpose. I could have sat there, I could have caught them all day, but I see a lot of guys go out there and they catch red snapper all year. They wanna go out there and bottom fish for red snapper all year. Well, you catch all these fish and all you're doing is educating them. You are teaching them what you're going to do when it matters. And then they go back, oh, we've been wearing them out. We wore them out right here. They go back to that spot and then they catch two small fish because they just spent all year when they shouldn't have been trying to catch them, catching them. And they, they educated the fish. Now the fish are smart. So keep that in mind. Don't hammer a good thing until it's time to hammer it. You hammer it, you leave. Catch your two, get out of Dodge, come back, catch your two tomorrow keep those fish uneducated um now we had a bright moon obviously it was the moon's been real real bright uh that's going to usually kill your king mackerel bite and a bunch of other things because those fish feed all night i knew that going in i had some reports that bait was pretty scarce there weren't a bunch of cigar minnows but there was a bunch of hardtails so i wasn't going to spend much time trying to find bait i caught two hardtails pretty quick i wasn't going out to catch a bunch of fish i was just going out to scout I uh, headed out to a place, like I said, I hadn't been to. I get out there, <coughs> excuse me, you see in this video, I take a very large hardtail, it's alive. I hook a birds of prey jig head through it. Now, I've talked about these in depth in past bottom fishing videos that you can see here. I have talked about it at seminars. It's the easiest way to catch some fish. There was a pretty hardcore wind, right? It said that it was like seven gusting 19. So it was pretty windy off the beach. I, I slept in until 6.30. I didn't even hit the water till about 7.15. I uh, pedaled to a few spots, did some research, right? Well, when I hooked that big hardtail, I tossed it in there. It swam down. And as soon as it swam down, boom, I could see multiple quality red snapper underneath the kayak. Uh, there was a bunch of fish down there. They were all over 22 inches or so which is good, good news, good to see. Uh, it'll be a reliable spot for the for the, at least the beginning of the year. Uh, after I saw that, I reeled him up and I pitched him out on the surface. You can see here in this video, he's running across the surface and the snapper blast him on the surface. Unfortunately, the fish did hit it. There were teeth marks in the hardtail, but it didn't hook up. Oh, well, it's always fun to watch. I was really just goofing off. I already knew they were there. Uh, then I decided I'd catch one, took out the ceramic knife, which if you don't have a ceramic knife, you need to get one because it doesn't rust. You can keep it in the kayak forever. There's a link below. Did a video about it. It's important. I cut off a small piece. You guys can see it. I hooked it up, pitch it in. You can count. It wasn't very long. Boom, fish on. And you can see how I landed, right? One thing about snapper fishing is you're using very fast reels the majority of the time. You don't need to just crank on. I see these guys like it's like a race, man, just... Steady pressure, pull up, reel down, pull up, reel down. If he wants to run or shake his head, you know, let him go, move the rod. Say, hey, do what you want, buddy. At the end of the day, you're gonna win. If nothing's chasing, if there's no sharks around or you don't have an idea there's sharks around, you don't need to rush it. Last thing you wanna do is pull hooks out of the fish or anything silly. Let him do what he wants, get him up there. Uh, you can gaff your red snapper if you want during the season. I don't ever gaff red snapper. I use this boat flip them or put the gaff in their mouth if they're too big to boat flip. Wrap your hand around the floor carbon like you guys can see. Toss it in the boat. Fish grips, unhook it, measurement, release it real quick. That's how long it should take you to release these things. Um, you shouldn't be fiddling around looking for gear. It's super easy and quick. Here's the video.
the hardest part about catching red snapper is finding red snapper. Put in the time, find a quality area, find quality fish. Don't tell your brother, your sister, your uncle, and everyone you work with where it's at because they're going to tell their brother, sister, uncle, nephew, nieces, and everyone they work with where it's at, and then you're going to go out there and they're all going to be gone, right? Uh, there's only so many of them on each piece of structure, especially if you're fishing some kind of man-made structure, a coop or whatever. I prefer to fish natural bottom because there's usually more fish, harder to find, put in a time. It works out wonderful. Uh, that was a healthy fish, a little over 24 inches. He had a bunch of friends. Snapper season is going to be great as always. Uh, if you are looking for some resources to go catch your own, we did a small video a while back, a long time ago, about the coordinates for the 27SR, which is a Navarre reef formation. Uh, there's a link up here in the little whatever suggested box hit the little icon it'll pop up and show you the two suggested videos and that's it i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions drop them in the comment section if you want to go on a snapper fishing trip shoot me an email at nick at navarkayfishing.com that's that have a good night day morning see you later